Hey everyone, Andrew Storm here and welcome back to From the Depths. Today, I have a couple new steam engine tips for you. This ship right here was sent in to me by someone who saw the steam engine tutorial video and it's a pretty good testing ship actually because the wedges, it makes it uh, very low on drag. They said that they had a ship that ran on one cylinder steam engines and they were saying that it was going really fast and they were wondering if one piston steam engines are actually better than multiple piston steam engines. So that got me thinking and I downloaded the ship and I did a bunch of testing and I'm here to tell you that one piston steam engines are superior. Now they're probably not superior for the reason you think. You probably think that multiple pistons will burn more fuel. And that is not the case that I found. Having multiple pistons, it hardly burns any more fuel. So if you're worried about burning tons more material with tons more pistons in a steam engine, that's not the case. What is the case is mass. So the line right below the RPM, the, at the end, it says it has a mass, and in this one's case, is 31.5, when in this one's case, it's 26.7. The thing is with mass, is the more mass that a steam engine system has, the more power it takes to get it revved up. And what I mean by more power is you need more steam. You need more steam pressure, which means you have to burn more material. Having a second piston on the same crank doesn't increase the mass, but having another crank with a piston and another crank with a piston and another crank with a piston or another uh, propeller shaft or another engine shaft that increases the mass of the overall steam engine system. So if you want a really fast and efficient ship, you want to have your mass as low as possible. Some of it's inevitable where you have to have one crank, you have to have one engine shaft, you have to have one reduction gear, and then you have to have a couple propeller shafts and a propeller. But you want to make this line as short as possible. So this engine is actually spinning at a higher RPM than this one. There is literally nothing different between this engine and this engine except for the length of the propeller shafts, which changes the amount of mass it has. They're connected to the same boiler system. It's not a steam pressure difference that has this one running at a higher RPM than that one. It's just the mass. I even tested it where if I chop off the propeller shaft around here to have the mass equal to this one, they spin at the exact same RPM. The less mass you have, the higher RPM your engine revs with the same steam pressure. And if you can rev it higher with the same boiler, that means you can actually cut down on the boiler or the burn rate to be more efficient to burn less material. With multiple pistons, if you add another crank to it, you have a higher mass, so you don't wanna do that. But what you could do is have two, three, or four pistons all around that one crank. That won't affect the mass. But the thing is though, is that takes up so much more space in a ship and costs more material to build that why would you do it in the first place? So one piston on a steam engine is actually the best thing you can do because it's cheapest to build and it means less mass, which means it will rev higher, which means you can burn less material. But that's just how to be efficient. That doesn't actually get your ship going faster. What gets your ship going faster is having the most amount of propellers possible. So you wanna be able to have as many steam engines on your ship as possible with the biggest propeller possible. In the large steam engines case, you could choose between a three meter propeller or a five meter propeller. And the three meter propeller with two reduction gears makes it so you only need to rev up to 70 RPM, a little bit higher for when it's actually running, it takes away some of that RPM. But a five meter propeller, it has to get up to 80. Now the thing is though, is the difference between a three meter propeller and a five meter propeller 
is so worth the 10 extra RPM. That's just a little side note, but you want to get as many one cylinder steam engines on your ship as possible and that will fit in your ship and to get it to however fast you want it to go and to however much material you want it to burn. These four five meter propellers will get this ship going so much faster than if I chopped off two of them and had two. But if you want to see how fast this thing goes with four five meter propellers and one piston steam engines, look at that, 47, 48 meters a second. That is freaking amazing. And you could probably even lower the drag even more on this ship and get it up to 50, 52 meters a second, something like that. But let me show you, as soon as I delete these two propellers, bam, 35 meters a second. We're going so much slower. Delete another one. 25 meters a second. I want to say thank you to the person who put this ship up on the workshop. It's a really good test ship. And also for asking the question because then it got my gears turning being like, you know, I should really answer that question for myself. And I was like, hey, it's teaching experience for everyone. Maybe you knew this stuff already, but there's someone out there who didn't. So if you like this one, share it with a friend. And if you want to see more like this, hit subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.